Did you know your garden can combat climate change? A garden is not just a place of beauty and tranquility, it can be a transformative force for good. Sustainable gardening is about more than just plants and flowers, it's about creating an ecosystem that supports life, reduces carbon footprints, and conserves our precious water resources. It's about harnessing the power of nature to make a positive impact on our planet. Just think about it. Imagine if we all turned our gardens into green powerhouses. Creating an eco-friendly garden starts with smart planning, but what does that entail? Let's dive in. Firstly, let's talk about choosing native plants. These plants are adapted to your local climate, soil, and wildlife, which means they require less water and fewer fertilizers to thrive. They also provide the best food and habitat for local wildlife. So, when you're selecting plants for your garden, think local. Next, let's consider biodiversity. A garden bursting with a variety of plants is not only visually appealing but also healthier. A diverse garden can resist pests and diseases better than a monoculture, reducing the need for chemical pesticides. It's like a natural insurance policy for your garden so, go ahead, mix it up. Include a range of flowering plants, shrubs, trees, and even edible plants to create a rich tapestry of life in your garden. Designing for water efficiency is another crucial aspect of planning an eco-friendly garden. This involves thinking about the layout and features of your garden to minimize water use. For example, group plants with similar water needs together. This way, you're not overwatering some plants while underwatering others. Consider installing a rain garden or a swale to capture and utilize rainwater. Incorporate drought-tolerant plants into your design and mulch around your plants to reduce water evaporation. Remember, it's not about creating a perfect garden overnight. It's about making conscious choices that lean towards sustainability. It's about understanding that every plant, every design choice, contributes to the larger ecosystem. So, start sketching out your garden plan today. Think about the local plants you want to include, the diversity you want to foster, and the water-saving strategies you can implement. With the right plan, your garden can become a haven for local wildlife and a champion of water conservation. You'll be creating a space that's not only beautiful to look at, but also plays a vital role in our planet's health. Healthy soil is the foundation of a sustainable garden. So, let's delve into the world of soil and composting. Soil isn't just dirt, it's a living, breathing ecosystem teeming with microorganisms that play a crucial role in plant health. It's the natural habitat where your plants grow, and it's their source of nutrients, water, and air. So, for a thriving garden you need healthy soil. But what is healthy soil? Well it's rich in organic matter, has good structure, and a balanced pH level. Organic matter, which is decomposed plant and animal material, helps soil retain moisture and makes it easier for plant roots to penetrate. Soil structure refers to how the soil particles, sand, silt, and clay, are arranged. Good structure means the soil has plenty of tiny air spaces which allow water and nutrients to flow easily. As for pH, most plants prefer a slightly acidic to neutral soil, but there are exceptions so it's important to know the pH preference of your plants. Now, on to composting. Composting is a natural process that transforms your kitchen scraps and yard waste into nutrient-rich soil conditioner. It's like creating black gold for your garden. And the best part? It's easy to do and it's free. Start by collecting greens such as vegetable peelings, coffee grounds and fresh grass clippings, and browns like dried leaves, straw and shredded paper. Greens provide nitrogen, while browns supply carbon, both essential for composting. Avoid adding meat, dairy or diseased plants as they can attract pests or spread disease. Mix your greens and browns in a compost bin or pile and turn it every few weeks to help speed up the decomposition process. Over time these materials will break down into a dark crumbly substance that's perfect for enriching your garden soil. Composting not only enriches your soil, but also reduces kitchen waste. It's a win-win. Water is precious. Let's use it wisely in our gardens. Imagine a world where every drop of water is treated like the life-sustaining resource it is. That world begins in our gardens, where we can put into practice water conservation techniques that not only sustain our plants but also help preserve this vital resource. One of the most efficient ways to conserve water is through rainwater harvesting. This method captures and stores rainwater for future use, reducing the need for tap water. Picture a rain barrel nestled among your garden's foliage, collecting life-giving rain with every storm. This water can be used to quench your garden's thirst, making every drop count. Another technique is drip irrigation. This may sound complex but it's simply about delivering water directly to the base of the plant. 
Instead of using a hose or sprinkler that can lead to water wastage, a drip irrigation system ensures that every drop of water is utilized efficiently. It's like delivering a refreshing drink straight to your plant's roots, where it's needed most. The beauty of these techniques is that they not only reduce water waste, but also promote healthier plant growth. Rainwater is naturally soft and free of chlorine, which can be beneficial to plants, and drip irrigation helps to prevent overwatering and water-related diseases. So, as you can see, water conservation and gardening isn't just about saving water. It's about creating a more sustainable and healthier garden. By adopting these water conservation techniques, your garden can thrive while saving valuable resources. A garden buzzing with life is a joy to behold. But more than just being a source of delight, a biodiverse garden plays a pivotal role in supporting the intricate web of life in our local ecosystems. Consider this. Even the smallest garden can be a sanctuary for a vast array of creatures. From butterflies fluttering from flower to flower, to birds chirping from the safety of birdhouses, to bees buzzing around their bee hotels, every creature has a role to play in maintaining the balance of nature. So, how can you create a biodiversity-friendly garden? Start by diversifying your flora. Native plants are particularly beneficial as they've co-evolved with local wildlife and provide the right kind of sustenance. They attract a variety of insects, which in turn are a food source for birds and other creatures. Also consider incorporating features like birdhouses and bee hotels. These provide safe havens for birds and pollinators, encouraging them to make your garden their home. And don't forget about water. A small pond or even a bird bath can attract a host of creatures from birds to amphibians. Remember, every species that finds a home in your garden contributes to biodiversity, and every bit of biodiversity contributes to a healthier, more resilient ecosystem. So let's turn our gardens into havens of biodiversity. Let's create spaces where nature thrives in all its glorious diversity. When we invite biodiversity into our gardens, we contribute to the health of our local ecosystems. Every garden matters. Your garden matters. In our exploration of sustainable gardening, we've journeyed through planning eco-friendly gardens, nurturing healthy soil, conserving water, and supporting biodiversity. Yet perhaps the most crucial component is the individual gardener. That's you. Sustainable gardening isn't just about creating a beautiful space or even just about the environmental impact. It's about the transformative power it holds for each one of us. You see, when we garden sustainably, we don't just nurture plants, we nurture ourselves. We cultivate a deeper connection with nature, with our environment, and ultimately with our planet. As we dig our hands into the earth, plant seeds, and watch them grow, we become more in tune with the rhythms of nature. We learn patience, resilience, and the beauty of cycles. Growth, bloom, decay, and rebirth. These are lessons that extend far beyond the garden, resonating through all aspects of our lives. Moreover, sustainable gardening empowers us. It allows us to make a tangible, positive impact on the world. Every time we choose native plants over exotic species, Every time we compost our kitchen waste or set up a rain barrel, we're making a difference. We're contributing to a healthier, more sustainable world. So, think of your garden not just as a personal oasis but as a microcosm of the world. A place where every action has a ripple effect, leading to a healthier environment, a more balanced ecosystem, and a brighter future. Remember, your garden is a reflection of you. It's a testament to your commitment to the environment, your dedication to sustainability, and your love for nature. It's a living, breathing embodiment of your values. So let your garden tell your story. Let it be a testament to your commitment to our planet. Let it inspire others to follow in your footsteps, to embrace sustainable gardening and its transformative power. Start your journey towards sustainable gardening today. Together, we can make a difference.